Good afternoon, sober family. And if you're not sober, welcome to the channel. I'm Wayne and I'm an alcoholic. There is nothing like working with somebody who has the desire to stop drinking or to get sober because that means they made a conscious decision to change the way they are living and to make their life better for them and for the people around them and for those they come in contact with. There is no greater purpose than for me to be able to live through step 12 and to help them along their journey using my experience, strength, and hope in hopes that it will help them achieve sobriety. Today's daily reflection for 17 December 2020, a priceless reward. Let's go. All right, folks, lately I've been telling a small story before we get started with the daily reflection, and I'm not gonna shortcut you today and not do one for you. My little short story is I had to learn to work with other people. In recovery, I was so used to being just me because I had to work out, I had to eat well, I had to do my 12 and 12, 12 steps and 12 traditions. I had to make the AA meetings, the Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. I had to do this, I had to go grocery shopping and I didn't think about anybody else because I was being selfish about my sobriety. As I grow in living sober, I am able to pass along the message that there is hope. So if you are someone out there struggling and you are someone who is seeking sobriety and you're not quite sure if that is the real direction you wanna go because you don't know what it looks like yet, I'm here for you folks. And to work with you is my privilege to be able to pass on what I have gained freely. Oh, a priceless reward. Working with other alcoholics, it works when other activities fail. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 89. Life will take on new meaning, as the, book book says, as the big book says in page 89. The promise has helped me to avoid self-seeking and self-pity. To watch others grow in this wonderful program, to see them improve the quality of their lives is a priceless reward for my effort to help others. Self-examination is yet another reward for an ongoing recovery, as are serenity, peace, and contentment. The energy derived from seeing others on a successful path of sharing with them the joys of the journey gives to my life a new meaning. That is 100% accurate, folks. Just quickly, I'm gonna read a couple words and I'm gonna tell you what they used to mean. So working with other alcoholics, right? Working with other alcoholics when other activities fail is one of the most beneficial things that I can think of because we can try to keep our minds off of alcohol. We can try to go for a run. We can try to work out. And when those activities start to dwell a little bit and start to stall, grabbing, or let me rephrase that, getting with an al another alcoholic either who is in recovery and or who is trying to get sober is one of the most mind fulfilling things that we can do as alcoholics. To be gainfully employed in trying to pass this message along and to help somebody or to be of service is something beyond ourselves. And that is where the benefit of sobriety lays. That is for me anyway. I can't say what is for you. Only you can in the comments. I truly need a new camera, folks, because this ain't working anymore. I was always self-driven anyway, and as an active alcoholic, you know, my ego controlled everything. And for me to try to justify everything going wrong because it's happening to me and not to somebody else is really a, not only a time waster, but it makes me build resentments and it makes me uh, spiteful, and that will lead me back to the drink at least in my case anyway. I don't know about you, only you can say. The energy derived from seeing others on a successful path of sharing with them the joys on the journey gives to my life new meaning. That is absolutely accurate. I keep standing up folks because my camera shut off twice already. Craziness. So why I sponsored a few folks and I watched them flourish in their their sobriety and, and evolve in their recovery and learn to be happy and learn to be 
um, accepting of what's going on in their lives and be able to transform the way they feel about alcohol as it relates to their life. I also saw them or get to see them develop to where their lives become purposeful and they're able to be helpful to other folks. And for me, that is reward enough. I mean, I've only been sober five years almost, but I feel that I've developed within my recovery enough to be able to help another alcoholic. And that doesn't mean I'm resting on anything because I work every day for my sobriety folks. And I think that's where the promises come in is because it'll materialize if I work for them, sometimes slow, slowly, sometimes quickly. And if you're not familiar with the promises, boom, there it is right up on the screen for you. Uh, check it out, okay? The energy derived from seeing others on a successful path of sharing with them the joys of the journey gives to my life new meaning. I am energized completely. I get so amped up when somebody writes me back and says, I didn't drink last night, Wayne. I didn't drink. I thank you for what you told me. And that's definitely not my ego talking, but I got to admit, I get a little pumped up and excited about being able to help somebody else based off of my experiences and my strength and my hope, as I say all the time. And they get, it, they get something from it and they get results by not drinking for 24 hours. And that's what I tell people all the time. One single day at a time, 24 hours at a time. Just get through today, thank your higher power, and then do it again tomorrow. That's what I do. Uh, to watch people flourish and watch them grow, and especially when they go from that 24 hours and they get to 30 days and they get to 60 days, it is just staggering how their life changes. And for me, that is a priceless reward. And I'm just happy to be here to give it. I'm happy to be alive and sober and be able to speak to people like you and be able to share. And that's really, you know, life will take on new meaning. It absolutely has. And my life went from all about me, all about the things that I can get, to what can I do for somebody else through this, through this wonderful gift that I received of sobriety. I was telling you that I was telling you that I spoke to that lieutenant colonel, right? And, or, or colonel, I'm sorry, don't hate me. And um, I did that because I wanna be able to talk to a forum of a very captivated audience of service members to be able to deliver my story and be able to talk to them about the things that happened in my career, especially during that, that last two years. And um, hopefully they won't have to make the same mistakes that I made and they can flourish and they can have a healthy career and build healthy lives and have happy marriages and have happy homes, not have to face advert ac adverse actions and things like that. And what better way to do it than to give it to them direct and be able to speak to them face to face as one server to another and a fellow service member you know, retired, of course, who went through it. And hopefully, you know, one or two of them get something from it. And um, perhaps someone will talk to me later after that. Okay. That's been today's daily reflection. That's something to chew on. I hope you guys have a good night. I'm Wayne, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.